In this video, I'll show you how to play Safe European Home by The Clash off the Give Em Enough Rope record. But before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week and leave a comment what you like, what you didn't like or anything else, any questions, anything else you want to say. And here we go. All right, so the song is basically uh, has has two bass guitar parts, um, Mick Jones and Joe Strummer. Um, and um, it, at times in the song, they play the same thing and other times they kind of complement each other. And then there's also overdubs. So I'm gonna kind of show you the two different guitar parts with the, the stuff that you can hear on the record. Um, so it, some of the parts are gonna be a, a little bit of a combination. But it starts off with this power chord phrasing um, and it goes like this. slowly it's um, and uh, yeah so basically you're, you're you're playing the power chords and then you're gonna play this kind of intermediary note to give it that that kind of stutter sound so um, and um, and then basically, that the intro is the same as what happens in the verse, except the verse is a little different. There's going to be a slide in there. So the, the verse part is played like this. So basically, all you're doing is sliding um, up uh, half, a half step into that E. So basically... And then over the top, uh, the, there's going to be this kind of notey lead thing. And you're basically you're just going to bridge your finger over the 12th fret. The Clash likes to do, uh, they do this, this type of thing a lot in their songs. And so the rhythm is like this. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Slowly, it's and that's basically played over the top of that that rhythm I just showed you throughout the verse. Then when we go into the chorus, it's going to be more uh, power chords. Um, so the the one guitar is going to be doing this. So you uh, kind of slowly it's. Then it goes back into the verse. Then over the top, the other guitar is going to be do doing this notey part that goes like this. So after we do the verse chorus again, we go into the bridge, which is uh, um, basically all power chords for the rhythm guitar. Um, it's a little complicated because it's kind of not really a, a set pattern, it's a little different. I mean, it complements the, the rest of the song, but it's a little different pattern. So it goes like this. And then over the top there's gonna, of the bridge is going to be this notey part kind of a lead, but uh, it's basically um, just kind of some held notes that are with some slides in it to, to when, the, when there's the chord changes. So it goes like this. It's hard to kind of hear how that goes um, by itself without the chords behind it, but um, just follow the tab along with it and play along with the with the record, and you'll you can kind of hear it on the record how it how it's phrased and and basically the uh, almost each every time there's a slide to a different position, it's just following the chord change. So like when a, um, that that first slide happens from the ninth to the thirteenth fret, 
you're basically, you know, it's when that chord change goes from the E to that uh, G sharp uh, power chord. And then at the end of the song, there's gonna be this outro. And uh, the first guitar is doing this power chord progression and it's just uh, basically held notes, so. And the second guitar is doing these uh, series of triads, um, and so and it kind of is like a, a, a reggae almost almost rhythm. So it's like um, on the the um, second and fourth. Basically how I, I like to finger the chords is the first chord like this, or the first triad like this. The second one like this. So I just lift my ring finger off. And then I'm gonna do the, the third triad like this. Just bring my ring finger to the second fret. And then the last one, I'm just gonna put my pinky on that second fret here. So um, basically, And that's the way it, it feels like the most comfortable for me and um, uh, the easiest way for me to transition, but there's also multiple ways you could play. You can bridge your finger on that last chord. You can even, you know, play two, these two fingers on the third one. Really just however it feels most comfortable to you. So that's it for this one. Um, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week and leave comments what you like, what you didn't like, what you want to see next time. And also the link for the tab will be posted in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.